And by the way, that failure did not feel good. Failure does not feel good. When people say fail fast and, and failure is fine, I don't know what they're talking about because failure is still pretty miserable. You know what we call a failed entrepreneur in the United States? A special word in English. You know what we call them? You know? Experience. Experience. <laughs> It's a big idea. It's it's a huge idea. And you know you're in the right entrepreneurial cluster. That is, Silicon Valley's a cluster. New York's a cluster. London, Stockholm, Berlin, Herzlum, hopefully Istanbul, is where a failed entrepreneur doesn't shame their family, doesn't shame their community. And in fact, after they, and like everybody, failure isn't good. It feels horrible. I've failed four times. But so I came up with a definition which might be helpful. A startup is a temporary organization designed to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. That, that's really tight. Would you like to open that yes, up for us? I, I will, but it was designed to be like, you could say it in a sentence. And in fact, on day one, a startup is closer to a religious organization than anything else. Uh, you're actually driven by your belief that you see something that no one else does. And in fact, that is not only the reason that you will succeed, that's also the reason why you will fail. Mm. Because very quickly, for a startup to succeed, you need to turn that faith into facts as rapidly as possible. You can't go further in your startup unless you have found product market fit. And product market fit is very simple. Are people grabbing the product out of your hands and saying, I want it, or I'm using it, or I'm buying it, or I've given you email addresses, or I'm downloading it, or, or some evidence that people actually like what your vision is. The Lean Startup consists of those three pieces. Business model design to articulate or write down your hypotheses, customer development to get out and test them, and agile engineering to physically build iterative and incremental versions of the product before you ever do what we used to call first customer ship. Every once in a while I get a student who taking my class, does a startup, and then I have coffee with them, and they say, Professor Blank, the, the customers aren't behaving as I, I think. And so sometimes I just kind of get exasperated and say, well, maybe we should ship a copy of your plan, you know, with the product. And they write down, ship copy of plan with product. And I go, no, 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 that's not what you should be doing. You should be finding out why they're not behaving as you expect. And by the way, customers never, never behave as you expect. Hmm. Never. This book is called Business Model Generation. And in one single diagram, one piece of paper, we could put all your guesses, all your guesses. Who are the customers? What am I building for them? What's the distribution channel? How do I get, keep, and grow them? What are the profits and losses and costs, etc.? On how to think about startups. Again, I want to emphasize, if you're doing the same thing you would have done in a large company, you are going to go out of business. It's a big idea. Don't believe that just because you think so, it's going to happen. The big idea that kicked off the Lean Startup movement was not only startups aren't smaller versions of large companies, is that large companies execute known business models. What's a business model? Who's my customer? How do I price the product? Who's my competitors? What's my distribution channel? How do I get, keep, and grow customers? In a large company, you're large because you know that, and therefore you hire people to execute. But in a startup, the thing that you're all doing, you're actually searching for a business model. And that's the core distinction in the Lean Startup movement. We built tools for 100 years for execution, but we had no tools. We didn't even have a language to describe that what we're actually doing is searching for a business model.